The sacrifice of Jesus and the cross is powerful. It's something many of us speak about. But the question is, do we understand it? Welcome, everyone. My name is Angel. Thank you for joining me in this podcast. Um, thank you for being part of this journey to discovering God's love in Jesus' sacrifice. Uh, today, we are starting with how powerful the image of Jesus in the cross uh, and his sacrifice for us can impact us today and the symbolism of the ultimate sacrifice that doesn't have conditions. They have closed the gap between God, the Father, and us. And that's what I want to talk to you about. This is not just a historical event. Uh, but a demonstration of God's love for humanity. God loves for us, us that we're sinners, us that we have fall short of the glory of, uh, of God, us that we have struggles, us, us that we have battles. And how significant Jesus' sacrifice is more than just sending his son to die for us. It's just more than that. It's more than just a sacrificial, a sacrifice of, um, of just, listen, I'm going to send somebody to die. It's more than that. It's God's love. It is his grace. It is his perfect sacrifice for us. And this is what it's all about. Here is the dilemma. We are all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. Because we sin and we have become evil in our own nature. Uh, and God has redeemed us. God has sent his son, the perfect sacrifice, like I mentioned, to gain possession of his creation. And in 1 John 4, 10 says, in this, And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us. And he sent his son to be propitiation for our sin. And when I read this Bible verse, uh, that means that he exchanged his son Jesus to pay and to clear our debt. And I believe that is very powerful and very meaningful for us to understand uh, Jesus' sacrifice, that he pay our debt, what we deserve, what we're supposed to get. He paid it for us, that we no longer have to make that animal sacrifice like back in the Old Testament, that we don't have to sacrifice um ourselves that he already made that sacrifice for us that he already paid that for us and uh when we talk about that we are talking that his son's sacrifice is so perfect so unique and so amazing that sometimes and I don't know why I insert in this here, but sometimes we feel unworthy. Sometimes we feel like um, God don't want part with us, that God don't want to talk to us, or that God, uh, how can God forgive a sinner like me? How can God have mercy for someone like me that is a sinner that uh, for sure, they're still struggling, they still uh, battle with things um, because of his love. When we talk about redemption, we are talking about being delivered from bondage, being delivered from our old state of mind, being delivered from the things that have kept up from him. And there was a brokenness in us. And we got disconnected completely from God by way of falling by way of sinning, by way of separation uh, in the fall in the garden. And Jesus' sacrifice offered the solution 
to this problem. Jesus' sacrifice offer the solution for that connection that happened to be connected again. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 2, 5, for there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men. And the name is, and that man is Christ Jesus. Jesus closed that gap between humanity and God the Father. Jesus and his ultimate sacrifice put us closer to God. Because for God so loved the world, and he demonstrated his love through the sacrifice of Jesus and the cross to transform us, to deliver us, to make all things new. We will understand Jesus' sacrifice if we get to understand his love for us. We will understand the Father's love for us if we understand the sacrifice of Jesus for our life. This is why Ephesians 5, 2, encourage us to walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us. Jesus' sacrifice at the, at the cross is a manifestation through his love for humanity and his creation. It's a manifestation of him um, loving us. And that was manifested to his sacrifice. And what I want to do today is encourage you to take the look of where you at and where God wants you to Go or where he wants you to be and how he loves you so much. I pray that God reveal his purpose for your life and give you a clear sight of his purpose for you. Know that he loves you and he sent his son to die for you on the cross. So don't dismiss the sacrifice in the cross because the sacrifice in the cross was a way of showing you how much he loves you, how much he cares for you, and how much he wants a relationship with you. I hope this encourages you. God bless you. I'll see you next time.